All right, 3 o'clock, quick reset. It's simple. Lions, that's as gritty and gutty a win as you'll get. They're down a million guys. That's a physical team that came to town. You jumped them early, took them out of their game. Offense did enough. Coach didn't do anything stupid. Nice step forward for Dan Campbell. And defensively, a level of aggression we were yet to see. It was perfect. And really, it sets you up now for if you're the team we really believe you are, you go out Thursday night and you win. And you take command of this division and you're three and one in the opening quarter. There's no discussion of stumbling out of the gate. There's no discussion about the Seattle game. You look at the big picture and go three and one in any four game stretch in the NFL, elite. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. So I want to know where people are at with it. And again, Brian Branch and Sam Laporta really stepping forward. And frankly, they're just better than Jameer Gibbs and Jack Campbell thus far. Yeah, they are. Especially uh, Campbell. Haven't seen a ton out of him. But yeah, the second round picks. Laporta, I'll be the first one to admit, I didn't expect this this soon. I thought he was going to be good. He comes from a great pedigree of Iowa tight ends. I thought maybe next year we would start seeing this. Is this your roundabout way of us having to hear about George Kittle? <laughs> I quit. You. you know what? I'm so sick of you. How did you take this from me giving the Porta praise? Well, because I just read a note that the Niners are now the Super Bowl favorites instead of the Chiefs. I'm what just... did I have to do with this? You're... I'm talking about Sam Laporta. Your existence. Okay. You know what? I'm out of here. My power rank right now is Staley McDaniel's beard. Wow. <laughs> Get All me right. a coach on Saturdays. Okay. You know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> you didn't kick the field goal. It's not your fault. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. 97. Respectfully. <laughs> so let's get to the people. People have been very patient, want to know where you're at. And was this, this was the comfort food for the soul. That win was massive. It's now, can they really announce themselves to the world and cement first quarter of the year, complete success Thursday night. Let's go to uh, Josh on a cell. 97.1. Josh, how are you? Good afternoon. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, uh, have you seen Brian Branch hit? <laughs> Bijan definitely you know what? did. Well played, Josh. Well played. Yeah, because I was yeah, those uh those two hits or tackles, I don't care if they were penalties. I really like the message that those sent. That horse collar and then that uh one that popped his helmet off. I was all about that. Now I wasn't big on the horse collar because you don't you're a great player, you're a young player. I like how you hit. You don't. Well, want to, you don't want to be known as a dirty player. I don't think it was dirty, but the, he reached out and one arm just yanked the guy down. You know, that's what that says a lot about his physicality. Yeah. But um, last week, I was pretty close to pushing that panic button because that defense was really showing its ugly head, and I thought we were gonna have a repeat of last year. Uh, but man, they pretty much played a almost a perfect game yesterday. So, um, seven sacks, four of those I counted. Went back and watched. Four of those, they only brought four. And one of those, they brought a fifth guy, and he fell back to cover the screen. So I think it says a lot about that defensive line. Well, it does. And, then, and yeah, look, think- they made some interesting moves. Again, Derek Barnes playing D end on rushdowns. It's something new. They tried something. You know, we're not going to look at yeah, Charles Harris wasting up. our Jacqueline time. Sue was here. They used to do that. That one year when Terrell Austin had this defense looking real nice, they used to move Sue around. So, yeah, I'm all for it. They got to mix it up. So good on uh, Glenn for doing that, you know. Uh, good on on uh, Brad for drafting those players. And with the way the injury report looked, I was pretty nervous. I'm not going to lie. But you should I, be. I feel pretty good about the team. Yeah, I feel pretty I, good about the team, though, because the, the top to bottom, they just, everybody made plays. Right. And now here's the thing. This is like what being a good team is. You're on to Green Bay Thursday night. What you did yesterday beyond today means nothing. Because now you have an opportunity, own the tiebreaker, steal the game at Lambeau. That means they have a return trip here. And you have an opportunity to be in first place at the end of four games. Bears and Vikes are basically out of this deal. You know what, guys? That would be a rousing success. That would be an A+. You want to forget that Seattle game and all the grievance? Fine. Win Thursday night. See, I look at it the other side of the coin. I mean, coming up to the quarter turn of the NFL race, worst case scenario now is your two and two, one game out of the division that you can still win. That's why this game was so important. 
You did not want to turn Desmond Ritter into something that he wasn't. Instead, you made him look exactly like the quarterback he was. He was uncomfortable back there. He could not hit receivers. You stopped Bijan. You played from ahead. You Dan Campbell played smartly and punted the ball and kicked field goals. You didn't have to take chances because you take chances against teams that you – wonder if you can beat or you see them as neck and neck. And I think the Lions saw what we all saw. You were just better than Atlanta, and you were better than them. You brought the pressure. You didn't let up, which, which and again, gold star for Aaron Glenn. Just keep the blitzing patch packages up because this team is bad. They're reeling. Don't let them off the mat. That's what I applaud. Just like yeah, the last do it caller said. See, hey, you know what? It's easy, though. You want to sit here and peacock at home with the crowd behind you. Bring that energy to Lambeau. I don't want to. I don't. I'm, I'm not paying Jordan Love any respect. He's Put bad. him on his yeah. ass. Now he's got receivers that can make plays, right? Romeo Dobbs had an unbelievable catch yesterday. Yeah, Maybe did. Christian Watson comes back. Jaden Reed's party has been good. Look, the point is this: he ain't Pat Mahomes. No. Bring the aggression. I that was the best version of this defense. And if you're going to beat me, you're going to do it under duress. Right. Christ Almighty, I don't ever want to see that Seattle game plan again. No, just drop back and play zone. Oh my God. Awful. I mean, that to me, when you when the defense is like that, you're just telling everybody we don't think we can beat you, so we're just gonna try and slow you down. Let's go to Paul and Shelby, 971. Hi, Paulie. Hey, my old friends. How are you guys today? Excellent, Paul. What's on your mind, buddy? Well, I gotta tell you, Mike, you know, when you got a guy like Brock Purdy throwing to Kittle, you know, I think Taylor Swift uh, is dating the wrong guy. You know, please, it's Brock Purdy stuff enough. I know Rico just plays that to death. He just finds roundabout ways to. You know, <laughs> I don't even radius. bring him up. Paul. It's disgusting, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it is. Hey, listen, <clears throat> I called you guys last week, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I had never, I never had a doubt that we were going to beat Atlanta. I mean, you know, you may remember we were talking. I know you get thousands of phone calls, but you know about Brian Branch had to play a ton. He's a he's a game wrecker, and he he proved it yesterday. All four rookies contributed unbelievably. I haven't seen that, and I, I don't think ever with the Lions. But the way the game unfolded, I didn't expect it. You know, the defense to be that dominant after the the meltdown with Seattle, and I really expected the offense to you know, get in a winning shootout with uh, the weapons that. Ritter has, but it was exactly the opposite. We did everything right. You know, Campbell managed the game perfectly. Big shout out to Aaron Glenn for uh, that game plan. Uh, that was just unbelievable. We we're sitting here uh, watching the game, me and the lovely misses, and, you know, it was like we're going, you know, the way this defense is playing, we can beat anybody. We can beat anybody. Now, remember, uh, though, they played better, but you have to take into account who the quarterback is. Right. No, you know, I get all that, Mike. On. I do. And but he's not without his weapons. And I mean, it, it we just shut him down. Yeah. No, and if I mean if it matters to you, like if 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 we were doing Atlanta Sports Radio today, I'd be telling you we got to bench this guy. Yeah. You, Ritter's going to kill them. Heineke's no great shakes, but Desmond Ritter when you can't put it on a 6'5 receiver anywhere in the catch radius, you're terrible. Yeah, late in the game, you knew he was out of it when he's just sitting on the bench, he took his helmet off, and he's all by himself. No one wanted to talk to him because he knew, and everybody else knew what we all were thinking. Dude, you you suck. You're, You're terrible. terrible. Right. Now, here's the other thing, too, why this Green Bay game is so important. Because not only will you end up being 3-1, and one, Mike, I think you'll end up being 4-1. and one Because 10 days later, you get the Carolina Panthers no. here. No, you don't. You know what? Yes, No, I do. As a Niner fan, you do. But we're in Detroit. And you do. Detroit is about struggle and strife no. and a full day's work. No. You're not doing auto wins. This team hasn't earned it. This is an auto win. You heard it here first. See what I, Dave, you see what I mean? The he, Carolina Panthers? You're so detached from reality. 
You said it the yourself. The same team that steamrolled you in a vital game at the end of last year, and you want to take them lightly? See, now you've been in Calistoga too long. You are sitting here with that <laughs> Napa Carolina. Valley attitude of the yours. The Carolina Panthers. It doesn't matter. Is so, a that's a, there's a Rico. lot of pride in that locker room. Bryce and, Young will be back, and he's not that good. Okay, look, uh, and, and I know we shouldn't do this all the time, but I just did. This, this is when you can. And I gave this to Paul. You cannot just put a win in the bag for the Thank Lions. You. Their history doesn't you know allow what? that. I'm you sorry. Have, you Honestly, haven't earned that right. I don't know who you two are right now because really, that's uh, the Carolina well, Panthers. Uh, right now, we are on to Green Bay. I have right, no, no idea no, what's saying, after Green Bay. You we're be, on to Green Bay. You win at Green Bay. You're three and one. You might as well chalk up an extra one. You're now no, four and one. No, then we will enjoy the win. We have a 24 hour rule on this show, and then we are on to Carolina. <laughs> we're, we're on to the Bucks. <laughs> I'm going to Ethan 971. What's up, Ethan? You know, it, it, it must be it must be a real privileged privileged life that Rico's living over there because he's chalking up wins that are two weeks away. Oh, yeah. Auto so, wins, gimmies. The, I'm sorry. When did yeah, the Carolina sorry, sorry, Panthers sorry, become this the, juggernaut? The sexy Brock Purdy 49ers. I apologize, That's Rico. Right. Goodness gracious. Isn't it a disgrace? <laughs> Ethan, did, did, I, I'm giving props to the Lions. He and has I'm forgotten still taking his shots. roots, Ethan. <laughs> I'm still taking shots. Listen, listen, listen. You've already betrayed us. Don't 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 dig us in an even deeper hole, okay? <laughs> All right. Ethan, if you Listen. can't beat the if you can't beat the Panthers, trust me. <clears throat> call now for that Monday show. Well, we we got problems, that is true. Listen, I, I just I, I I'm working listening to you guys and doing a film study for the Lions all at the same time. So I, I just the biggest thing that I'm that I've taken away from this game so far, and and obviously you guys have already touched on, you know, the rookies and how well they they all played, and that's awesome, guys. The Lions have done something that is a renaissance from how they were last year. They have taken themselves from a bottom five defensive team against the run, and they are now bordering on top five, if not top five, against the run this year. This mm-hmm. team will not let you run the football against them. And the way that they're – it's not just the defensive line. It's the linebackers and the corners and the safety safeties coming up to help in the run game. I, I, I'm watching it on film right now, and I don't want to get all nerdy about it in formations or whatever. That's not what I'm trying to do. But the ability to stop the run in the NFL – and you guys know this. You guys understand the game. It, it is a massive, massive advantage – when you can take that element away from well, every, somebody. Everything builds off of it. Without that, right. you can't even begin to have a semblance of a defensive plan. If you can't take that away, you never get to the next step. Right. And you're right. They did it the last 10 weeks of last year, and they've done it the first three this yeah. year. Yeah, because when you take away the run, you take away the play-action pass because now we know, yeah. If you, listen, the, it, yeah. you guys are talking about Green Bay being a reflection of the Lions. What do the Lions feast off of? They feast off of those play action passes. Look at what look at what Jared Goff does in play action passes. Look at what Jared uh uh look what Love is doing yep. in play action pass scenarios. If you can shut down that run game mm-hmm. and you can eliminate that from the equation and it would just that be a be damn shame or anything like that. It would be such a shame if Aaron Jones just couldn't make it to Thursday. Oh, that would be devastating. You'd hate I, I would to be see it. I know. And it'd be even a bigger shame if Bakhtiari and Elgin Jenkins just, just I couldn't give it I think Bakhtiari will be back. I think he was uh, almost extra on, days of rest. on Sunday. But Ethan, Ethan. I do think he'll be Ethan, back. Ethan, we have a 24-hour rule. Let me dream, will you please? Let's go take him <laughs> out without Bakhtiari. he got the clicker in his hand. He's, he's, doing I, listen, I, he's watching I, film. I expect, the Lions to, I, I expect the Lions to go and win this game. And I, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that you saw this week, there was a maturity level. There was an understanding of, hey, we had a bad game plan last week. We're going to change it. The Lions never have done that in the past. I thought everyone behaved. All bullheadedness. This was a change of game plan and recognizing the faults that you had. They went out there, they addressed it, and they attacked Atlanta all game long. It was professional. It was adult. That's what I want. And now... Now we're on to Green Bay. And yes, I expect to win the game. There are very few games I don't expect to win. It doesn't mean you win them all. But the difference between me and Rico is I respect the opponent. No, no. I'm saying Green Bay is a BOGO. Buy one, get one free. Beat the Packers. This is not Mr. Allen. What the hell are we doing here? Two. 
You well, 79. Not, right, you do not get two NFL wins for <laughs> not one. Not one, but two. Okay, 248-539. 49 <laughs> 49.99. <laughs>